Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here and welcome to Ambuscad. Pardon my French. It's a voxel style horror game inspired by the Silent Hill series and the developer's first game. I envy your ability to make things, guy. All I can make are doofy little internet videos. Ambuscad takes place in a post-apocalyptic town if it wasn't obvious by the creepy ambience and the weird signs all over the place. Possibly filled with zombies or other evil things, as happens in post-apocalyptic horror situations. Will you survive or will you become a snack for the beasties? Probably the latter. But let's go find out anyway. What do we do? Ooh. Okay then. Enter at your own risk. Leave this area. I guess this is like play and quit. So let's enter at our own risk. Nice sounds going on. Very creepy. Chain link fence, crows, all of that stuff. So far, looking kind of nice. I like the textures, the bricks and all that. It's all voxel, it's pixelated, stuff like that. These windows feel very low for some reason. Also, windows looking out into an alleyway. Always classy, great cityscape. But yeah, the texture looks pretty nice. It's like pixelated and fake looking. But at the same time, it works really well. Ew. Did somebody make a duty out here? A really bloody duty. Some... Hello? Hello? I know that sound. That's a gurgling. E to dig. Oh, I seem to be, I guess, hungry. Wait, am I the zombie? Okay, so my stomach was gurgling, and now I'm eating from a trash bin. Lovely. I can't seem to do anything else. There's no jump button. Clicking does nothing. So, for right now, it's just WASD. Mouse to look around. And, uh, E to eat garbage. Quarantine area. Authorized personnel only. Microbiological containment. Something. Facility. No entry or removal of goods. Well, that's just lovely, isn't it? I don't trust going down a dark alleyway, so I'm not going to right now. That's a biohazard. Cool, didn't know we were doing Resident Evil. I thought this was Silent Hill or something. Never actually played the Silent Hill games. I don't think I've actually even watched much gameplay from them. Hmm. I should look into that sometime. A little bit curious about it. I know about some of... Oh, yeah, that's zombie outbreak. Yeah, oh, hey. Cool. Trash that I can eat before I die, apparently. Never mind, I died anyway. I couldn't find any trash to eat. Let's try that again, shall we? I ate garbage poorly. Oh. Cool. So I just pick up where I left off. I'm okay with that. We get checkpoints. Wait. Was this... Did I not look down here before? Oh, right. I was starving. <laughs> yeah, I know about some of like the enemies and stuff from the Silent Hill games, but that's that's pretty much it. Ooh. Hello? Somebody's crying. In a horror game? I should go check that out. Ooh, wait. You're just gonna have to hold on a sec. There's garbage to be eaten. Nummy nummy. Oh, there we go, filling up the insides. Nummy nummy. Mmm, sweet, delicious trash. How tasty it is, especially on a foggy evening. Oh, more trash! Oh yeah! Should have named this Trash Eating Simulator. Mmm, rotten moldy pizza. Nothing better. What do we got over here? You know, I was kind of expecting something like... Zombies chasing me? Hello. Blood trail. Somebody crying. Hello, hello. Oh. What are you... Was that like crying? Like tears? Oh, that's kind of neat. Can I drink your tears? Oh. I was going to say your sorrow sustains me, but uh... The music kind of ramped up a little bit. We're getting dramatic. So are you an injured person, dragging yourself along? Oh, I am slowing down. Oh, garbage. 
At last. I need to eat. Oh, a couple pixels left. Uh oh, I, oh, I made it just in time. Praise the garbage. Thank you, Mr. Garbage Man, for not picking up the stuff today. Then again, zombie outbreak might have something to do with that. Hello? Little crying girl. Can I nibble on your brains? Because I think I might be... Oh. That's me. Yep. I'm a zombie, all right. Mm-hmm. Come to me. Mmm. Nummy little brain. Much better than all the garbage. Except maybe that pizza. Again, doesn't get better than old moldy pizza. Oh. And you are a sloppy eater. Look at that. Just... They've been giblets all over the place. Come on, man. You gotta finish your meal. Hey, fellow zombies. Oh. Well, I, I kind of thought that I would uh, just be walking along with them. I mean, yeah, I am now. Interesting, the voxel art style. How I'm made of all the tiny little blocks and all. Because you see a lot of these kind of games out there. But they look really interesting with like the first person view. Like having my hands sticking out. Oh. Days spent on the game development. 32 days. Not bad. Just over a month making this. Fairly short. Whoa. I didn't get to read that other thing. Sound design. Warning. Creepy music. Really? Pierre Fontaine. Okay. Okay. Going a little bit quickly. Do not remove the sticker. On a fence. Okay. But yeah. Here is detail. Special thanks to... A shaky sign. Ooh, scary. Thank you for having played. Thank you for being played. This was considerably shorter than expected. Wait, wait. Can I, can I get both? Yeah, there we go. Super spooky. Aww. I was going to try to be dramatic with that. Ooh, that is a nice looking moon. Is it a voxel moon or just a picture of it? Fade to black. Are we starting over? Just starts over. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, overall, this was pretty fun. It was definitely well made. Like, graphically, it looked really nice. It had the, the whole creepy walking through the town thing at night going on. It had the fog. The fog worked really well to obscure some of the uh, pixelated details. That way, everything worked a lot better. Because I'd mentioned early on that the brickwork, the details, the uh, the textures on them looked pretty nice, all things considered. And the fog only worked to uh, enhance that. So yeah, this was pretty good. Short, but fun. And I enjoyed it. But anywho, this has been Imbuscad. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I will see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.